We're switching to onboard power now, so let's sit back and watch. Our best wishes to all the teams. À tous de DDO, attention pour le début de la séquence d'allumage lanceur. Top. Largage du MAVKM. Allumage triétage. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top et décollage. de commande sans nomino. La propulsion du premier étage est nominale. Superbe images as always. Soyuz blasting off into the sky above French Guyana. Heading out across the Atlantic, hauling itself against the pull of the Earth's La gravity all 300. Est nominale. Everything's going according to plan, he says. All 310 tons, we're burning five engines, one on the core stage, four on the boosters. There it is, coming out from behind the clouds. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux, le vol est nominal. Boosters are doing all the work right now, they're delivering 80% of our thrust. In fact, the total thrust is 336 tons. That is the equivalent of three Airbus 380s, you know, the great big planes, the double-deckers, or seven and a half thousand family-sized cars. We're heading out east at the moment over the Atlantic Ocean. We're going to be travelling along the equator. Of course, this is the most efficient way to get to our required orbit. Because we're travelling in the same direction as the rotation of the Earth, so we're saving on propellant. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. And you can see the boosters falling away back to Earth. There they go. Can you see those four cylinders twisting and turning? It's all B, v, G, very carefully planned. So it's great to have been able to see that with the naked eye. Uh, the reason why we have now lost the boosters is because we don't need them anymore. They've burnt out their propellant, and of course, the lighter we are, the faster we go. So we're shedding weight all the way through the launch. And we're now burning the main core stage, or the second stage, often known here as the Block A. A word about confirmations of major events in the flight. We are seeing key moments happening at the right time, but we get the actual confirmations of those milestones, sometimes slightly later, and that's perfectly normal. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. That's because it takes a little time for the information to get from the launcher to the range operations manager here at the Guyana Space Centre, because the information goes via Moscow. That's where it's validated before coming to the launch control centre here at the CSG. Remember, we saw the uh, teams there in the CVI. They then pass the information to the range operations manor, manager. Tonight, that's uh, Joel Egalji. And then he calls out the confirmations only once he's got them. You can see on the top right-hand side of the screen, we call Les it the curve, the trajectory. The white dot is the actual position of the launcher. And there you can see that's the fairing, the tip, the nose of the vehicle. It has several jobs. Uh, notably, it's protecting the satellites from the rigors of the launch. You can imagine how loud it is. Those acoustic les vibrations. Les trois axes sont nominal. And also, it's protecting the satellites from friction because it's travelling through the dense part of the atmosphere, so it's very hot. But no longer. We are now, if you look at our altitude on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, 127 kilometres above the Earth, we've come out of the thickest part of the atmosphere.